Hi there, students. Wool gathering, a noun. I think it's an uncountable noun, definitely. To wool gather, or also to gather wool. This means to daydream. Yeah, so uh, instead of doing his homework, he sat there wool gathering. Yeah, he sat there gathering wool fanciful daydreams about uh, what what he was going to do, to do uh when he was older yeah it's just being uh your mind is in in the middle of a fantasy so don't sit there wool gathering um think about what you're going to do yeah okay so it's if somebody's wool gathering they're in a in a dream aimless thoughts this is not the time to uh, be wool gathering about uh, the girl that you love. Yeah, don't be uh, in a in a daze where you're just wool gathering. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I I I wasn't listening. I was wool gathering. Yeah, he spent the afternoon wool gathering. He looks like he's in a wool gathering mood. Okay, so to get to wool gather, to gather wool, to just daydream, yeah, to be in another place, yeah, indulge yourself in fantasy. Um, wool gathering can be a real handicap if you're studying. Um, let's see, the origin of this, to gather wool or to wool gather, if you go to a place where there are a lot, where there are sheep, you'll find little tufts, little bits of um, wool on the bush, caught on the bushes or on wire or in different places. And uh, to wool gather, this actually means to go around collecting these little pieces of wool and to maybe to use later. So that itself is qu uh, qu um, quite old, but. Now, if you are wool gathering, you're you're daydreaming. You're in a daze, yeah. You're um, just in in a dream, thinking about all sorts of fantasies in this dreamy mood. So, come on, stop wool gathering and actually get down to work and think about what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, wool gathering is not good for your studies. Well, maybe wool gathering is fun from time to time. Yeah, if you're um, alone and in a quiet place, maybe in nature, it's very easy to wool gather for hours on end. Yeah, you think about different things, and your mind goes from one place to another, and you're not actually in contact with reality. If you're driving, wool gathering can be very, very dangerous because you stop concentrating on what you're doing and you go off into this fantasy. So, as I said, um, as to o the origin, it comes from gathering bits of wool, but mm, it's a metaphor talking about this in the mind. Um, as to formality, mm, I think I'm going to give this a four in formality. Use it informally, use it in a semi-formal conversation. You could just about use it in a semi-formal writing, but don't use it very formally, okay? So, I hope you've actually been listening to what I've been saying and you haven't been, been there wool gathering, yeah, with your mind about uh, other wonderful, wonderful things, yeah? So, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Wool gathering. To wool gather. To gather wool.